Hello guys, I'm Ruby here. And so I stumbled upon some very interesting um, talks in regards to Power World Online. And what, what I say interesting, this is in regards to an interview with Power World CEO Takuro Mizobi. In regards to Power World itself, the entire development process, and also what the future plans are in regards to content for Power World. But what caught my attention here is mainly in regards to what the CEO talked about in regards to their approach to developing PvP for Power World itself. Now the article itself is by an online news outlet that goes by the name of Automation. I'll have the links below if you guys want to read the entire interview itself. It's a pretty interesting read. But in the exclusive interview, the Power World dev talks about the game's influences, original assets, and the possibilities of a PvP mode. And that's what caught my attention there, the possibilities of a PvP mode. And you'll see the reason why um, in a few minutes. And so, now, one of the things that, um, one of the questions asked during the interview is this. In the early access launch Q&A, um, you mentioned that you're still considering future PvP elements, but what kind of content are you envisioning at the moment? To which uh, Mizobe uh, says the following, PvP is really difficult. First of all, we need to talk about why we, why we are introducing PvP to power. To begin with, there are many other games that offer a fun PvP experience, so we need to make sure that there is a reason for power players to play PvP. Now that's interesting there. They just don't want to toss some PvP into the game just for the sake of having an additional feature check. Um, they want to have a reason as to why PvP is in power or why PvP exists in power. I'm sure a lot of people already have answers to that. Um, it just makes sense too. Um, in regards to the state of power, not just being a survival game but also being a monster catching game. With all the different pals you have, um, similar to a game whose name should not be mentioned in this case, in hint Pokemon, when it comes to battling pals and stuff like that, possibly in a Colosseum type arena or out in the wild and stuff like that, battling other trainers and stuff like that. And so we all see the allure of having PvP in the game itself. Now it goes on to say that, of course, using pals you cut in battle is one unique point, but only games that give players a good reason to play can survive on the long term. In this sense, I think it's a very harsh territory. And it is true, PvP is a very harsh territory. Most games that have PvP, uh, developers have struggled in regards to balancing PvP based on um, all the other game features that is available to the player. I'll give an example. Destiny, for instance, has always struggled with main maintaining a balance in PvP, from nerfing ab uh, guardian abilities to buffing guardian ab abilities and stuff like that. Because when you have a PvE-focused game with abilities and all kinds of mechanics, introducing a PvP element is a different ball game itself. Uh, developers always have to look for instances where a certain abilities are abused or certain abilities are performing stronger than other abilities or abilities that are lackluster falling behind or even abilities that players are not even using in relation to pvp at all and so pvp like i said can be a very harsh territory it's a very complex um, when it comes to balance in pvp in regards to a PvE type game. And so he now goes on to say that this is why Pocket Pit is not very optimistic about PvP. They're basically taking a very cautious approach to adding PvP to the game itself. Um, I don't I'm not saying that they're not gonna add PvP. He's also not saying they're not gonna add PvP because I know a lot of players are looking forward to the implementation of PvP into the power world itself. He now goes on to say that I said earlier that we have created a great game, but with PvP games, we can't know if you have failed or succeeded until the very end. I think that our chances of success are below 10%. 
that's high that's how high the hurdle is to succeed in PvP and he is right. Very few games have succeeded in regards to implementing PvP wherein there are no balancing issues. Um, some games it's still a balancing issue until today. Like I give an example, Destiny being one of them. Even games like um, New World or um, yeah, New World for instance, PvP is a balancing here there. And there are lots of games like that still struggle with implement uh, with the implementation of PvP till today. Now, he now goes on to say that when considering the reasons to introduce PvP to power, the first thing that comes to mind is the battle format of hitting pals against each other. This could involve either pals fighting along or alone or alongside humans. Another thing to consider is format such as a competition format in an arena-like setting or a format in which players can freely compete anywhere in the entire map in real time. In the case of the arena format, I think that real-time action battles will be the first thing the users will imagine. Similar to how um, in Pokemon for instance you have the battles in the arenas, the Colosseums and stuff like that. And then he also goes on to say that, however, we are also considering an asynchronous battle pattern in which pals fight each other automatically. Uh, basically an automated fighting type stuff uh, for pals um, when players play the pals against each other. There are a lot of technical details to be discussed, but we are also considering a format in which pals are registered in the arena and users can freely choose to fight which would lower the barrier of entry and allow more casual PvP. Now that is also pretty interesting that they're, taking the, they're looking at different um, approaches to PvP itself. From um, an arena or Colosseum type format to where you have to register your files. And he brings up a very good point there because players will be at different stages of the game and if they're trying to bring a, a low barrier to entry to an arena type PvP, does that mean that there will be a scaling of PALs uh, regardless of what their levels are? What I mean by this is, if a player registers in arena and their PALs are not level 50 yet compared to a trainer whose PALs are level 50, are they going to equalize the PALs themselves? Um, basically bring them all in line when all the PALs are at a base level? Well, um, that is bringing the lower players, the lower level pals up to level 50 as a threshold. Will they also remove instances where um, the partner skills or the players or, or the pal star rating is also reduced um, compared to some players that will have optimized their pals. For players that have bred pals already to introduce specific skills in them, will they also negate that too? That brings up very interesting questions there. Now, with that said, or will it be just a case where they have an arena type battle where players will bring their best pals with their best breeding stats, with their best partner skills and all that kind of stuff into the game itself? Now, will it also be a situation where instead of uh, players and the pals fighting, it's just the pals themselves fighting? Or will it be a case where you go into the arena itself the players, when they deploy their pals, the pals themselves are in regards to the movesets, it's completely automated and out of control of the player in regards to that. So those are different things that he states that are currently considering in regards to how PvP will work in the game itself. Like I said, um, like he said, it appears they're taking a very cautious approach in regards to how they're going to introduce PvP into the game. And I'm sure they're aware that a lot of people are looking forward to it too. Now, um, he now goes on to say this at when this next question was asked. So, is it still all under consideration? I'm looking forward to the updates. To which Mizobi states, Yes, I hope that we'll be able to implement a PvP model that is unique to Power World and will not be short lived. That is a very interesting word there. His use of the word unique. Um, it appears that they don't just want to just slap a PvP mode into the game itself. 
um, it appears they're looking into adding a PvP mode that is uniquely powered itself. A PvP mode that makes sense in power world not just in the lore itself but in regards to how the game functions and the existing game mechanics itself he now also continues to say earlier you asked me how i would like to develop power world but first and foremost i want it to be a game in which catching pounds is fun so it looks like that is the main priority there making a fun game um, about catching pounds or a fun monster collecting game after that, I want to make a successful PvP mode as the ultimate goal. And that about wraps it up for the interview itself. Um, that um, um, the CEO Takuro Mizobe had with um, Automation. And so, like I said, I I want to read in the article itself um, in regards to the um, interview itself. Um, that portion of our P the, what it states about PvP was very interesting to me because I haven't heard it be covered by anyone else um, in video format itself and I, and I wanted to bring it to you guys um, in regards to what Parker Pier is thinking about PvP and their stance and approach in regards to implementing PvP into the game. Now with that said though, ultimately the, the players and what the players think is just as important to you. And so I'd like you guys to tell me what you guys think about this interview itself. What your thoughts are about implementing PvP into the game and how you guys would like PvP to be implemented into the game. Give me, let me know what you think about PvP as a whole in the current PvE state of our power. If you're yay for PvP or nay for PvP. If you are yay for PvP, how you like it implemented, and also how they should um, balance certain things or certain game mechanics um, relating to pile abilities, power breeding, and stuff like that. Okay, just share your thoughts. Let me hear what you guys um, think about PvP and power itself. And that's it. And with that, um, we'll be out, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.